Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ravinia Festival. Please note that the taking of photographs, including the use of camera phones and the use of audio or video equipment, is strictly prohibited. As a courtesy to the artist and your fellow patrons, please ensure that all mobile phones, pagers, and anything with an on-off switch have been silenced. We appreciate your consideration. Thank you for making it a great day at Ravinia. Good afternoon. I'm so excited to see everybody here today. I'm Kevin Murphy. I'm the director of the program for Singers. I think it's my 11th season here, and I say it every year that uh, the singers seem to be getting better and better, and I hope you'll all agree. Um, at any rate, they're very interesting, and we're so happy to have people from all over the world here with us. Um, for those of you that were here the other day from Maestro Conlon's uh, masterclass, I think that was great, and it's nice to see and hear somebody from the perspective of conductor. Um, and before we start today, I just wanted to call your attention to look up the calendar as soon as you can, maybe after you leave today. Uh, we have our first concert tomorrow at one o'clock. Um, it's gonna be a really interesting event that Corey Ellison, our own Corey Ellison on the faculty has curated and she'll be on stage as well to give a little perspective. It's called The Greatest Dinner Party That Ever Was. And it's, uh, you'll find some interesting repertoire and stories. So I encourage you all to be here tomorrow. Um, Matthew Polanzani has been with us before and we all know he's one of the most, if not the most famous leading tenor in the world right now. And one of the things that we all know what a great singer he is, but one of the things that maybe you don't know is he's also one of the greatest people. He's the most generous, he's a, I've been lucky to call him a friend for a long time. But Matthew, it, being a singer is difficult and I'm sure he'll touch on it a little bit, but not only do you have to have a great voice and you have to have talent and musicality, but you also have to have the right mindset to deal with a career. And Matt's been one of those people who's been able to sing for, it, I think, nearly 30 years, if not more, um, who's maintained a freshness in his sound from the very beginning when he was singing Mozart to now when he's singing Tosca. He works diligently. I'm, I've seen him behind the scenes. He records all of his sessions. He listens. He takes care of his voice. And it's so exciting for our singers to be around an example like him, both as a singer and a technician, but also as a person. So I know you're gonna be excited to hear everything he has to say today. So ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Polinsani. music actually I'll have to go out and get it but just to say uh, very glad to be here and um, excited to be working with these kids I taught a class here a few years ago and the level was already very high and as Kevin and uh, his wife Heidi were just telling me how much how, how continually the program continues to attract great singers so I'm sure we're all gonna enjoy this today at least the singing part anyway so um, let's have the first person come out and let's get going <laughs> La Traviata's aria, um, uh, Demi Volenti Spiriti. Please enjoy. Thank you. Che la mia violetta 
Awesome job. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. What would you say Alfredo's general feeling is in this aria? Um, very happy. Yeah. Excited. See, look, now I'm looking at this little smile on your face here, and I'm wondering why you never showed me that same smile this whole time. That feeling he's got, bolenti spiriti, yeah. that feeling should be written all over your face. Some, in the, in the recitative, some wonder that the gods could possibly have put this person in your life who you looked at for so long with no possibility and somehow something happened and you met her and she fell in love with you and you still can hardly believe it. Even though you've been together now some, some, a little bit of time, right? Bolenti spiriti, giovanili ardore, this feeling has to absolutely permeate. You know that word, permeate? You know this word? Has to be full of this. And it's not just important because of this aria, you know, and where we are in, in the world, but because of what happens right afterwards when you find out she's selling everything, you know? It gives, this is, this is the, you know, like, it's dramatically interesting and different to see you full of joy and happiness and then to be turned around and being so upset just a minute later when you find out what she's doing in order to keep you and her together. All right? 
Well, look, I say this so, many, so often to young singers. I mean, trying to get them to understand how they can communicate. You make a beautiful sound. I mean, like, I, 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 I dreamed of making a sound like yours when I was your age, you know? I'm, I'm not joking. And so, yeah. So, let's try and connect it to somebody who gets what's happening while they're singing. All right? Okay, let's start again at the beginning, okay? Just talk to me for a second before you start singing about, uh, I mean, I just, I just told you, I mean, like, yeah, there's some wonder, there's, there's definitely happiness, and you think of the things she's, she's, she's let given, she's given up for you, all right? Try and be, if you can, <laughs> man, and, you know, I, it's funny, I give a lot of classes, but I mean, like, one thing I talk about all the time is our dumb hands, which come up at the dumbest moments, and then, then we're like, what are they doing here? And then you got to put them back down, and it's like, try it, just try it. Hold on to the piano for a moment, all right? And try not to let your hands, no, I mean, listen, you can do a lot with your voice, but if that voice gets connected to somebody who absolutely communicates what he's feeling, there will not be a thing to stop you. Okay? All right, try again. Okay, okay. Now, let's try and make sense of these sentences, yeah. all right? Lungera lei, per me non va di letto. All these little rests, they're, it's a little too correct and not enough Italian, Italianita, yeah. okay? So you can ignore some of these rests in, in uh, service of a larger musical idea. Lungera lei, per me non va di letto. I mean, virtually no break. Volaron già tre lune da che la mia violetta agi per me lasciò dovizie, onori, or amori, if you're saying. E le pompo, onori is also correct, actually, so. E le pompose feste, o valio maggi avvezza vede a schiavo, schiavo ciascun di what? Di sua what? Bellezza. This is important. O valio maggi avvezza. And think about how beautiful she is before you say, Di sua bellezza. And like 14 S's on sua and 89 B's on bellezza. Okay? <laughs> Listen, this, anybody can have, boy, all these things, I say them all the time. Anybody could have Italian diction that would read perfectly out of any dictionary, but it's a whole other thing to make it actually sound Italian. All right? Do it again. Try, try without, try and connect these. Um, all in one. Okay. Really, forget these rests. You can make them in your brain, but, but I mean, honor them in your brain, but don't stop. Continue thinking. It's a longer line we're going here for. All right? le pompose feste, to what? Di sua bellezza. Try. Just give him one before. Longe da lei per me non va di letto. Vola longe a tre Hang on, you did it again. You did this the other time. I, I should have stopped you. Volaron già, rather than volaron già, volaron già tre, uh, tre lune, da che? Volaron già tre lune, da che la mia... You're saying volaron già che... Uh, già tre, okay. Da, 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 da. The second one, da, right before that. Volaron già tre lune, da che la mia violetta... 
Oggi per me lascio dovizie amori e le famose feste Poveri omaggi a rezzo vedi a schiavo ciascuno di su No, 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 thirteen s's di su Yes di su a belle No, 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 thirteen more b's Okay Di sua bellezza. I promise it's going to sound exactly Italian. I promise you one million percent. I did it with a lot of conductors. They always loved it, especially Italian guys. Do it. Di sua bellezza. Okay, so what we're going for here is an attitude and an emotional feeling about what you're saying. Okay, what we're going for is to try and imbue the words with the emotion of what you're feeling and what you're talking about. So, di sua bellezza is perfectly fine, and with your voice you'll get away with it in a lot of places. But what you have to understand, though, is that you can do way more than you're doing. Yeah. So, there's a, you say, vedi a schiavo ciascun, di sua bellezza, and this is... It fills you with joy just thinking about how beautiful she is. Okay? Vola ovia ovalia magia vezza. This. Ovalia magia vezza. Vedia schiavo ciascun. Smile and think. Vissua bellezza. Okay, okay, so now that's, that's done, all right? And now you're back in the real world for a second, and you're looking around this room that you can hardly believe is, so like the, your body attitude has to change, you're this way about her, and then you're looking around and you're like, Error contenta, in questi amelo, tutto scorda per me! Yeah. Okay, so this has to, this has to, re I need to, I need to register the change, I need to register this change, okay? So you hear and you're thinking about her and you're, you're, your whole spirit is lifted and you're thinking about her. And then you let go of it as you, you open your eyes and you see this place and you're like, oh, questi ha many luoghi, tutto scorda per me. Whoa. Okay. Di sua bellezza e tor contenta in questi anni luoghi tutto scorda per me Let's talk about the way Verdi wrote that. Soffio d'amori generato. It's got this portato, what they call portati over it. Staccato over the note, but with the legato line above it. So that gets a specific type of feeling in, in bel canto music, okay? The beautiful thing is he sets you up perfectly for it with a double F of soffio. And this is a great word, which you could also, 48 S's. Era il soffio d'amori genera, d'amori genera. This is you being reborn. Scordo negauri. Okay. Try that for me. Era il soffio d'amori genera. Okay. I mean, that's, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. But I mean, like, it has to feel, has to have a little bounce on it. That's what he wrote, and that's, it, it'll help us understand how you feel. Okay. The S has to be in the space of the O. Like I can't feel the S change to an O, which is what I'm getting from you. It has to be in the space. The S is in the space of the O. Try it. Better. Good.
Okay, so let's talk about this, man. There's no reason why you can't do suaitutu. You're young and your lungs are good. You've been, you're, if I, as an old man, can make it happen, you can do it, all right? I think, and I think the way to make it work better is when you take a breath before, scordonegao, make sure that this breath is a released breath full into your lower back, all right? A good, normal, not like tanking up forever air, just a good, normal, full breath, okay? And you don't have to go. D'amor rigenerato, scordonegauri. If you're just a hair longer in there, no conductor will, will fault you. I, I have a feeling that, I mean, I always can, I've always arrived on time in this moment. I'm sure you can. But I, what I don't, I think, scordonegauri suoi tutto il passato. Too much. Yeah. So, d'amor rigenerato. Okay, keep trying to think of these things, all right? This, when recitative, we actually have an opportunity to communicate in a way we don't get to in an aria, right? So, I mean, the aria communication is equally important, but here we're expressing different ideas and thoughts. Arias tend to be about one specific thought. All right? Okay, let's keep going. Listen, man, feel yourself. Keep your breath grounded and, and I mean, really, you need to breathe into your lower back. And I think you're breathing more often than you need to. And I think it's because of the way you breathe. All right? I love the sound you're making, but let's, let's try and make more. Okay. All right? Not more noise, just... Okay. Okay, if I could also just, I think he needs to go a little faster. Not for him, it's for the music. Because this music doesn't polenti at all. Alright, it needs to be. And then, then I want to hear you pushing and pulling inside, okay? <coughs> Alright, so let's try and make this, this phrase work, alright? Because you're building towards something, right? You're building towards the sorriso dell'amor. That's what you're building, to, building towards. So if you, if you save a little in the, in the dynamic range, if you save a little bit in the dynamic range until you get there, if you save that space, then when you get to Placido Sorriso dell'amor, dell'amor. And look, he's, he wrote it for you just like that, man. And yeah, you know, we can argue. No, let's not, let's not even talk about that. You need to figure out, let's, let's, we need to figure out how to arrive at the things that are important for you in this aria. Sorriso dell'amor, which you sing about, you know, it's important to you, this smile of love. All right? So something like, with 45 R's. Sorriso dell'amor, dell'amor. And then the last one, the, 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 the thought of it again, dell'amor. Again, it's you just being like, me? Me? Impossible. Me? Yeah. All right? Calm your breathing down, man. Leave, leave your arms at your side, all right? And, and start again right at the top. All right? And try, and try and make long phrases in your brain, even though you, you take a breath. Try and think of the longer arc. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so 
they give you, he gives you and then a colon. So in your brain, there has to be like a little chizura. There has to be a little pause there. You don't make the pause, but you have to acknowledge it. Since she said to me, I live, I live for you. Okay. Dali Kerise Vivere Yo God Yo wanna live just for you. Yeah. Okay? You have to acknowledge that. And this is really this is you making sense of your situation in front of us. Okay? Delamo just before Daldi Kerise. Daldi Kerise Vivere Yo God Yo Yo voglio te fedel dell'universo in me vale io vivo io vivo quasi io vivo quasi in cielo okay so I think you need to make a choice here. These two times we get to go da 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 l'universo in me vale one for sure has to have no breath after it. Uh, just again, this is you showing a conductor and showing an audience, showing a director that you are in charge of the choices you make. The version you gave me is very correct, but un, un, unencumbered by thought in a way, all right? Which is typical for a tenor, mind you, and that's a tenor saying it. So I mean, like, uh, so I mean, here's the thing, man. You get to show that your musical brain and your dramatic brain is engaged. Musically, it's interesting because it's not exactly the same as you did. Dramatically, it's interesting, or if you do it the other way around, where you don't breathe the first time, but you breathe the second time. Either way is totally valid. What you get to show is that one way you think of it and you breathe and you're like, yo vivo, yo vivo. The other one, it, it, has, you, you, you have to, it has to come out immediately. You don't have time to breathe. You've just got to say, yo vivo, yo vivo quasi. And look, your E sound up here is really good. So I think you should sing, by the way, Scordo negaudi suoi tu. Your E up here is really easy. And I think it should be like that, which is more correct. Yeah. Okay? Remember that for the... Okay. All right, so let's do del univers. Do one of them without a breath. Okay. And look, if it means... You can take time, man. You can, you can push and pull inside of these... You can, a conductor will always go with you. I never had a conductor say, oh, I can't, I can't slow down there. Never. Th that's how the music goes. Okay. All right? Use your brain, all right? Sorry, I'm, I, I, I swear to you, like, it to, I was not your age when somebody explained to me how this worked, all right? So you're gonna be ahead of the game, all right? Here's... This is you, like... Oh, I mean, feeling this, feeling, you know, ah, see, ah is just not just a word, ah, it's an exclamation of joy, ah, see, you know. I mean, say something here, man. Don't just give me this lovely sound. You're so, you could be so much more. All right. Dynamics. Wait. Alright, why not make a break there, man? 
Io vivo quasi in cielo, ah sì. Io vivo quasi in cielo. You're not showing me anything. You're just saying the exact same words we've just been saying before. Make it mean something different. Vivo quasi in cielo. And by the way, when the sound is that good, don't go away from it so fast. We don't have to be there. We, we're not stuck here with some note. He can't start the orchestra without you. He's got to, you have to finish the cadenza before you can go. All right? When you make a noise like this, and believe me, man, there's very little that redeems Alfredo in terms of music in this opera. And having sung it a lot, I, I, I find him terrifically musically boring. All right? So, which is okay. That Not every part is written like, not every part repays you. Okay? And that's okay. It's all right. This, this part can repay you in other ways if, uh, if you get good partners. So, io vivo quasi in cielo, sì. Io vivo quasi in cielo. I mean, really, think about what it would be like to live, to be nearly living in heaven. Io vivo quasi in cielo, sì, io vivo quasi in cielo. All right, so you did exactly what I asked, but man, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, I mean, like, nothing changed, nothing, I saw nothing that made you, made me understand why you needed to repeat the, repeat the line. Here we are, we're in a cadenza, right? There's no orchestra under you. You can actually do anything you want to here. You could, make it, you could make it take 20 minutes, or you could make it take 20 seconds, or whatever, but they can't go without you, all right? So make a musical choice here, man. I love this decrescendo you just did. That's great, all right? I mean, this is, I mean, you should be doing more of that, okay? okay. It's worth, it's worth applauding for. You make such a great sound. Dude, if you could somehow connect it to some part of your heart that is aware of why these things are important to Alfredo, nothing will stop you. Yeah. Okay? I mean, think about, think about what it might be like to say, I'm, I'm nearly living in heaven. Oh, yeah. I'm nearly in heaven. I'm nearly in heaven. I mean, that's, that's what this is, right? Yeah. It has to feel just like that, but singing. So when you take a break, Io vivo quasi in cielo, si. Io vivo quasi in cielo. It can be anything. And this last one can have the longest pause ahead of it before. Io vivo quasi in cielo. That's not what we're talking about either. Yeah, I mean, like, really, man, try and engage your brain. Think about what, what you're saying. Listen to, like, listen to Di Stefano. He was great at showing his heart. Don't pay attention to his technique, okay? I mean, like, even he would have argued his technique wasn't the greatest, but for me, it was never that for him. If you want technique, listen to Pavarotti. But I mean, like, listen to the way his heart is open when he sings. It's open. You know, and that's why his career was the way, I mean, it was a gorgeous voice, but I mean, he was open. Audiences loved him because they felt everything he said, you know? Yeah. Find ways to put your heart into this. What I'm, I'm getting a clinical view of what this music is like, and it's gorgeous. It could be 50 times more, and I'm telling you, you will not be stopped. All right? Yeah. Great job, man. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs>
What's your exact voice type? Are you, I mean, like, I, I don't know many baritones with an F, a low F like that. I mean, but I would have, but the general color of your voice makes me think you're a baritone. So where, what do you usually sing? Uh, <laughs> you don't of, know. <laughs> I sing a lot of, uh, like, lyric baritone, 
high baritone stuff, but I also came from a bass baritone world before. Okay. I, I mean, I love it that you put that low F in there because it's, it's loud and it rings. So, I mean, like, that's just rare to hear, but your top seems easy. So, kudos. Um, all right. Thank you. I mean, like, uh, I, I definitely feel everything that you're, you're singing in your body. I feel, I feel like you're, you're, you're aware of what's going on with this guy. And um, so let's talk a little bit about a um, couple things. Like, your, your, your coloratura is awesome. And, but I would love to, I, like, I feel like I miss words. It needs to be, it needs to be a little, <laughs> boy. At the, I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I don't care to mess with your technique at all. But my, my, my feeling is that your tongue is a little engaged, so the, uh, so the words get a little stuck back, you know. Like I don't hear them as well as I want to. Okay. And when I say the tongue is engaged, like maybe you're holding it a little bit. I can hear it a little in your sound, maybe. Please talk to your teacher about it, and I'll, I'll talk with you about, about it here, but this is something that you should be working with your teacher on. And because the sound you make is already a beautiful sound, I'm happy about the way you're singing. But I think that in something like this, words are really important. You know, longer line, you might be able to get away with um, words that don't exactly disappear, but like, this is really important stuff, you know? All right, let's go back to the top. And man, try and breathe, because I feel like sometimes some tones came out full and round and others felt held, which is what got me wondering about your tongue, frankly. Because when, when, the, when the voice was full and round, like it was free. And so a, a tongue that's involved might stop some of that freedom, you know? So, I mean, we're, I'm, we're, I'm, 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 I'm little grasping at things because, man, this is really so good. And there's very little that I would want to change about it. I love the whole attitude in your body. I love the sound you make. I like it that you're engaged. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, if I was doing Chenna Rental, I'd want to hire you, you know? So, I mean, it's, it's, it's really, really good. All right, so let's, let's go back in the top. Let me just see if, I, if, if maybe it was just an audition first time through and like I'm going to seem like a genius now because you're less nervous and you're going to, and you're going to sing, you're going to be even better. But, okay, you can just give him one or whatever, yeah. Say the word leggero for me. Leggero. Oh, yeah. See, I like the position of that G better than the one you're singing with. Okay. Okay. Legge, legge. Like the G actually gets a little voice in it. Legge, legge. Like you can hear the note in the G. Like it disappears. Okay. All right. Da, 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 da. Uh, that's that's closer. Keep the keep the eye, keep the try and keep the legato alive on the way into it. All right. Okay. So when you get to a word like scherzosa, I mean like the, uh, now, now we're working. So I'm not I I, I don't have a specific memory of what it is here, but leggero e scherzosa. I mean like. Uh, this is a, something that might cause you to smile inside also. You know what I mean? One more time. This is closer. Try and say, man, really, I, was, I like to say consonants inform legato. They don't break legato. If you sing through consonants, they will actually help legato. You know? And this is one of those ones that if the G gets voice, it'll help your legato. Okay. okay? And like if I don't hear it, then I think you're not singing it. Ooh, almost actually. Ooh, you almost made it. I was wondering what you were gonna do. Oh, you, were, yeah, you, you, I mean, you were close. Actually, you were really close. Look, 
I mean, like, that stuff is no big deal, okay? That, that I, don't, I don't care about. Um, I, 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 I just feel like when these things are connected, when these words become clear, and especially in a patter guy like this, words are really important. He's not, it's, yeah, we get some long, liney sort of singing here, but that's not his thing, you know? I mean, uh, so words are important here, and if we don't get your words, then we don't understand your, who your character is in a way. Do you know what I'm saying? Sure. Um, oh, we don't have to go back on that, actually. Well, let's just let's go to the let's go to the next thing. Um, fra le belle. Yeah. Fra le belle, ma try something for me once. Would you try and breathe for me in the space of fra? Fra. See, fra. Oh God, I like that sound. <laughs> I like that sound a lot. Okay. That sound is more your voice. This other one, I, I, like it's, it's like it's hidden. But I mean, even as a tenor, and you know, like, but what, I guess what I'm going for here is the difference between frale and frale. Like, and the second one is the one you gave me. Okay. Like, I like that sound a lot better. All right? So breathe in the space of the ah. Now what happens then is that the palate lifts, you know, and the, then your voice has room to vibrate. Okay? The other one, it felt like it was this way. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sure. That sounds a beautiful sound. Thank you. All right. <laughs> yeah, but breathe in the space yeah. of that vowel. You just gave it to me. Perfect. <laughs> See, here's the thing, man. When you always do that, if you always breathe in the space of a vowel, or if when you breathe, the upper palate raises, what you're doing is giving your voice room to vibrate. I mean, the idea of sound, by its nature, when the palate is flat up on top, I'm talking about the soft palate in the top of your mouth, when it's flatter, the voice hits it, and it's, and it, you know, it's frale, frale. I mean, really, that's, that's the difference, and I can't even make a good sound on a low C like you can, but I mean, like, this is the difference, and when we breathe in the space of a vowel, we give the voice, not only do you automatically place, your, place the aperture, the, 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 the mechanism of singing in the correct place to make good sound, you're also like, I don't know, somehow it's freeing, mm -hmm. okay? Fra. Yeah, so that, that what you're doing here is really nice, actually, and I wish you'd do it in these other ones, too, where you do, um... You can shape these a little bit. They don't all have to be exactly, exactly the same note value. They can be shaped. As long as you land back on, if you land back on the, on beat three, in this particular case with him, then it's not going to matter. But what we give, we give to, you know, like, you can shape each of these a little differently. And again, all you're doing here is showing, hey, look, man, my brain's engaged. I know what I'm doing. I don't just understand all my words. I know what I'm doing with my voice. I got musical ideas, too. And if you're a conductor, I'm sure James would say to you, God, I love it. I love it that this guy's not just singing notes. He's making music. All right? Great. Bravo, okay, hold on a second. Give me ma non trove un giudizio. You're taking a breath before here, before after giudizio and before un sembiante? Yeah. Fine, then man, don't close your mouth in, in between those. Okay. All right. Ma non trovo un giudizio un sembia in the same spot. All right. Then I'll get your voice right back. All right. Rather than having it come back in the right back Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what I mean.
That's uh, ma non tro. Ma non tro. No, you didn't. But okay. but but I think you could, I think you actually have time for a little bit more air. If you don't come back with him in that exact instant, it won't matter. Mm. All right. You have time for an actual breath, not a not a <gasps> breath, but a you know. And what you gave me there was I think you took in about a quarter of the air you could have. You know, and I think the reason for more air that's interesting because it means you get to shape this long melisma exactly the way you want. And people will marvel at, at your, at, at, not just at your breath control, but also at the musical um, shape you're putting on it. Ma non tro. Ma non tro. So do yourself a favor and think about what that squisito bocon might look like. Okay? Do yourself a favor before you say it. Un bocco, or whatever the words, I don't know that yet, but I mean like give yourself a second. Let it register what that mouth what that mouth might look like, you know? This is nice. And look, if you have this kind of air, then I think you can I think you can push and pull inside every one of these. I mean, you can do that, and it's absolutely correct in bel canto style and such. All right, you'd be—you would not be out of out of place at all. And it's just more interesting for us rather than hearing somebody rattling off a whole bunch of notes all in a row with perfect accuracy. You know. All right, do that. Uh, yeah, I guess we need the same thing. Ma non tro. No problem. <laughs> but not, I, did anybody here register that he was out of air? I mean, I'm standing right next to you and I didn't get it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, now see the book on and then sing about it. Awesome. So look, before you say that last per, before you do that, again, that time is your time. Take a second. What? How does it finish? Uh, oh yeah, I can't. It doesn't say it. what you do here is nothing like <laughs> you know. Which is fine, man. That's your. That's. I, I'm not arguing with it. I, I didn't know how to end it, but for sure, whenever you end the thing before per, like before that, again, register it for a second. You know, register it on your face, register it in your heart, okay? Now let's keep going, because there's other things I want to cover, actually. And just give them like one before, or half, two before, one beat, two bars, a bar before. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to stop you, because I know I don't have enough time, and what I really want to look at is the, is the patter part, yeah. Um, so let's go back to, uh, let's go that, yeah, da diddle 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 diddle. Look, yeah, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> now look, try and feel like your tongue is bouncing off of the front of your teeth. I want, I, these words all need to be much further forward. So like, ah boy, it doesn't work well, frankly, with the, with the, <laughs> I was going to say swing thought. That's not what I'm talking about. With the vocal thought that, that I was talking to you about, just about breathing in the space of the vowels. They do go together, because the upper palate has to be raised so that the voice has room to vibrate. But all these words have to be closer and more dental in their, in their feeling to me. Because like I was listening to it and I'm thinking, well man, vocally, 
and note-wise, he's completely accurate, but I, you could be singing Largo Factotum or something, and like I really had no idea what you were singing, and I was trying to look at the words. All right, so I want these words to be closer. Because if you want to live in this um, sort of, uh, this sort of repertory, this, you know, like, oh man, the words out of my head, but like the, um, you know, this, these funny guys, you know what I mean? Like it's all about what they're, how they talk and how they say, you know, and that stuff, that's where they live, okay? So I want to feel like I want I want to feel like these words are nice and close at the front of your mouth, so I get them all. Okay, that was mal finir. Okay, hold on, hold on. Can you just say it for me? Just talk it. Not, does, not, 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 at, not at the tempo, just say the words. <laughs> yeah, you know what, I, I feel like somehow, you know what it's missing? It's missing like support. It's missing the air. It's missing the strength of, of the core of your... It's hard because it's fast and it's talky. Um, but I mean like, it's missing somehow... Like I feel like you took a little bit of your voice away, and that's why I'm that's why I'm not getting these words. I don't want to I don't want you to try and sing it louder, but I definitely want to make I, I definitely want you to feel like your support is engaged, like you've taken a good breath, and this is still, oh man, Malfini, I can't do it because I don't sing this. But I mean, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, you're doing it really well. I'm I'm try, listen, I'm trying to raise you already from here to here. You're already operating at a really high level. All right. Your voice is the right voice for this. You're 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 in your you're in your you're in the right spot. It's perfect, you know. I'm trying to raise the level from one from very high to extra high. So somehow, all right. Try it again and just try and make sure make sure that your breath is engaged. I mean, like try to again try to sing each of these consonants. I don't know how to do it in this. Uh, unfortunately, it's not my my. I mean, if I could, I might be able to demonstrate if it was something I sang. But I mean. Um, Try and try and make sure that the voice is engaged, that the breath is engaged, that you can see you see each of these words flowing out right through right up here, man. Okay, and keep these consonants nice and crisp and 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 ah, part of the vocal line. <laughs> try again. I mean, I'll, I'll keep trying until I figure out the right words. All right. So this is better. All right, I mean, Kev, am I right? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, that, that's, that's, this is much more what I'm going for. And guess what, man, I hear more of your voice, too, which I freaking love, all right? <laughs> all right, this is better. Do that again. Remember what that feels like, okay? On the breath. Yeah, it's interesting how it works, right? Because you feel like if you're trying to pour out a long line, you're screwing up the consonants. It's the opposite. Yeah, yeah. It's the opposite. Breathe. Release. Good. As you're going up to the top, try and think of, try and think of, <laughs> man, because what you, what you gave me is good, but I think it could be better. Try and think of, try and think of, <laughs> th try and think of this as your upper palate going like this as you're going up to the top. So it's got the space, all right? 
is good. But I think it could be better. This is, this is a lot better, man. Keep thinking of, of engaging the breath like this. And when you have a second to not take the quick one, but to relax the mechanism and then pull it in and then put it, put it back in place when you, have the, when you have time for it. You know what I mean? Um, uh, where does he start again? Um, Do you know which one he's talking about? Oh yeah, okay, good. Out of curiosity, would you consider like trying to finish on a high F there? Yeah, but I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> Good. Hey, man. Well, I used to do it, but I was just like, oh. but I can, I, I used to do it. Good. I think that's more interesting here. It's more showy, you know? And the other one is like, the other one is, there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's more interesting, and certainly, stylistically, it's correct. And if you're, yeah, you know what, if you get, if you get to an audition and you're, you're aware that you're going to fight through and that it's not going to be as easy as always, do, do whatever makes you happy. But I mean, like, I think here it's, it's, da -da 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 -da. why not, you know, when you're comfortable, all right? But I would say make yourself comfortable so you can always do it. <laughs> huh. yeah, and look, okay. it's a mindset thing. Sometimes we just have to explain to ourselves that we have to, this is, this is what's required here. I got to be able to do this when I'm on half my voice, you know? All right, dude, really great stuff, man. Really, really good. Congratulations. Yeah.
Bravo. Man, I mean, it's so funny because when, when I saw this on the, um, on the list, you know, it got me thinking about the Guno Romeo. And this one, this one sells too. And this is, this is a great moment in the opera for him. And I forgot like how great this was actually. I'm really glad that you're singing it. Okay, again, let's start, let, go back in the beginning and just think for your, think about things like ah and day or any exclamation like that, it's its own thing. It's on its own practically. So it has to feel like that. Like, ah, oh, the Cubs lost. <laughs> All right, it's that, you know, or ah, oh, the Cubs won the World Series. I mean, like it's that, you know, that's the ah. Anytime you get it and you find it tons in bel canto, ah is an expression of anguish or joy or excitement or scared or you know I mean like I don't want it to feel like it's a part of the line it's got to feel like its own thing all right um, look in these little these little breaks in here you can take as long as you want you know what I mean you can be a little more judicious with your silences which are interesting you know because silence will cause an audience to like what did the opera stop let me so long. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. You know, I mean, like, all right. Be judicious with your silences. You can use much more. All right, they're great. They're, I mean, really, nothing zaps an attention quicker than silence that's unexpected. All right. Okay. It's up from the top. All right, so really, Bellini right there wrote, Tenuto assai. Assai. So like, I figure that when you think you've held it long enough, go like three more seconds. All right? And man, go ahead and make a crescendo and decrescendo on it. Put a little hairpin in it or something like that. You know what I mean? Or, or make it loud and then decrescendo or whatever. But it should be long. And this is you, like, you know, languishing <laughs> over over Juliet, you know? So, tenuto assai. I mean, like, we don't often get that, you know? Tenuto, lots of times. Assai tenuto? No. So, for me, like, Nothing ever shorter than that will ever do. Okay. That's just, I mean, that's, the, you just told me so much more right there. You said so much in that little thing. You said a whole bunch, you, something you never said the first two times you gave it to me. You have way more air than you think you do, okay? It's just using it correctly that, all, that, that, that we have to get to. Okay. Fab, do it again. And once you, if once you've, once you've reached the extra three seconds, and tack on two more. Let's just talk about the sound of this one time. This in particular. Oh, I like the sound you make on O. Oh, but uh, like I was talking about um, just with the last guy, my, like, the tendency on downward looking phrases is to drop. And that's a natural tendency for most people. All right, but instead, we need to do kind of the opposite. I don't mean drop pitch wise, I mean drop space uh, vocally. Oh, mia Juliet. Oh, mia Julieta. Like how that sound retains its roundness on the way down. I want you to do that. And by the way, tu sola. There's no reason for this to be really just an eighth rest. Okay. It could be a 24 second rest. You know, I mean, you know what I'm saying. It could, like, think about, think, 
Think of it before you say, oh, mia Giulietta. Think of it. Okay. This to sol I buy one million percent. All right, now just give me, oh, mia Giulietta. And keep the, keep the beauty of your voice intact on your way down. Hold this sound. You shouldn't you just give her, oh, mia Giulietta. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I want you to change the quality of that vowel, which is a little this way, and I want it to be this way. Etta. Oh, mia, Juliet. Do me a favor and put a little bit of oo in the sound of mia, okay. all right? Which will add height. Let me see if then that translates to the next note. Because, okay. oh, I'm, I'm totally down, all right? Yeah, okay, yeah, just like that. Now what that did, I'm sorry, just to tell you, physiologically what it did was it raised your soft palate. More than that, what it did was it connected like this part of you to this part of you, and then I got a much more homogeneous, beautiful noise. This I really, really like. It sounded exactly like me, but it is really like vowel modification happens mentally. It's not a, it's not a physical thing that you're doing, it's just the way you think. All right, this is great. Do it for me again, would you? Okay. Would you try and sing through that, <laughs> sing through it a little more. Like again, this is just like I was just saying, like the C of the ch sound of voce has to be in the line. Like it's like I, I got Keep singing, keep the legato alive. Just give me that difference mm -hmm. all right this has legato in it this is this is one long thought not just in your brain but on your voice it's one long thought yeah that one okay hold on let's go back to the I'm gonna go back to this I if you can can you can you let it come out of this dun 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 okay let it come out of the music Yeah, and I think that I should be loud. Okay. Don't pull in, don't hold anything back. Breathe in the space of it and let it out. Okay. I mean, really, what we're saying here is I is, is, is that expression of the Cubs losing. And vana speme, which is also having completely to do with the Cubs. I mean, vain hope, right? I mean, vain hope. I mean, I'm sorry, like, I don't use the, I'm not saying this as a New Yorker. I grew up here, right? So, I mean, like, I grew up with the heartbreak. I mean, like, 2016 was an incredible thing. But, I mean, like, really, all right? This is, hi, vana speme. I mean, really, you can be much more dramatic here. It's, a, it's just a little clinical. It's good, but it's, it, could, it could be more. Really, we all want to feel your heart rending in two, you know?
that. So just think about what that might be like. To, have, to go from having the only one who you could ever stand to have next to you by your side and then ripped away from you and leave, leaving you alone. Think about it for a moment, all right? Think about what that might mean to your heart. Deserto in terra. Ah, you know, like this, this rest that comes before, it's got to be full of desperation, of the idea of being alone. Really, if we could, if, again, you know, like, if I could get you to communicate, I mean, boy, there'd be nothing to stop you, you know? And like I said, I didn't learn about this until I was much older. We were just talking about people who came out fully formed. Hardly anybody comes out fully formed, you know? I mean, like this, like I could, we thought of maybe four people who in their mid-twenties were exactly who they were gonna be the whole rest of their lives, career-wise, as singers, you know? All of us had to figure out how to get there, which is fine. I mean, I figured out how to get there. All right, let each of these things feel what they mean before you say the word, all right? This is a particular, if you wanna break hearts, you want to rend people wide open? You want to pull them into your world, into your heartbreak? You have to show it to them, and it has to mean something to you. And you have to be willing to go to a place that's not so pleasant inside your brain and inside your soul and inside your heart in order to make people feel it, help people feel it, help us come into your world. It's really, really good, all right? I'm just busting your balls because there's a lot here. And I mean, I'm not joking when I say, like, if, if you could find a way to open yourself, you'll eventually, what, what will happen is that they'll come to you all the time because you're always open. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess. Oh, you know what's interesting here? This, a sorda la fredda, la fredda salma di mia voce al suo. I mean, like, it's deaf, this, you know, this sound. It's, and there's anger and desperation and self pity and. That's, yeah, uh, we don't have time to go back. I can't, I don't have time. Desert, wind, terra, it's fine. Desert, wind, terra. Breathe. Man, did you like that sound better? <laughs> I, I like it so much better. That's what you're doing. Watch it. Just watch it. Watch it back. All right. Okay. Give her like one before the start of the Ari. Okay. The start of the. This, so let's, all right, do me a favor and try and make something of one of these, okay? okay? If you can. But somehow, there has to be something in here of a wistful smile. Not a smile. It's a, <laughs> boy, it's less than a smile, yeah. you know? Do you know what I'm going yeah, for? Yeah. I mean, there's, it's not peaceful. Yeah, exactly. All right. Just right on the right on her bar.
about how, yeah, okay. Let's see, I think you're out of air for the, no, for the wrong reason, all right? And this is another one I had to learn along the way. When we sing phrases that feel long to us, the natural tendency is to try and hold air back and like, oh, I gotta save this air to try and make it all the way to the end. But what that leads to is inefficient singing. If instead you sing towards the end of the phrase, you'll find that you use your air more and your voice more efficiently. And then all of a sudden you've got more air than you need. Okay? So instead of trying to retain, sing forward towards it. I don't mean tempo-wise. I mean just sing to the end of the phrase using your voice and air in the way that you in the way that your voice in the way that your body knows how to do in the most correct manner. All right, because when you try to hold, back, hold air back, you're actually causing tension and, and pushing air in a way that, in the end, makes it less, uh, less efficient. So, yeah, let's, I mean, like, let's just do the first phrase again. And really, if you want to, if you want to breathe, like, I like it, I like it that you did it in the second, in the second phrase. Ame, ame, I... Yeah, fine, you don't have to do it here, but for sure, sing to the end of the sing to the end of the phrase rather than trying to hold yourself back. Just write on the first line. Okay, interesting. Now, what, what I got there, frankly, is a little more voice, a little more round, a little more um, love in your sound, and I think it had everything to do with you forgetting the idea of, of trying to make it, and instead just singing it, okay? This I really like. Really, really good. All right, uh, second phrase. Ame, ame. Now I'm gonna I want to keep going after you. If you can, like, try and give me some of this in these lines. All right, it's correct, and and just will make things more interesting. Some crescendi, decrescendi, some things. Or if you did, if you did that, conte, uh, conte, like that one out and the second one back. You know. <sighs> I always I love to say it in master classes. I love to say it to all the young singers, we're gonna be, you're gonna be up against 400 other mezzos, who could be just as as beautiful as you with the beautiful voice and the and and everything right. So how are you gonna separate yourself from them? Well, we separate by showing that our brains are engaged. We separate by showing that we have musical ideas. We separate by acknowledging double consonants and, and quality of language and quality of rest, etc. You know, you separate yourself by showing that your brain is engaged and that you're hireable not just as a musician who they know that they're gonna be able to, when they wave their arm, you're gonna be right there, but as a, um, as a director who's gonna say, gosh, she makes me feel what she's feeling, all right? So be, be inventive and imaginative in the way you express, all right? Don't just let it be correct. Um, Oh! 
that's Schwung, you know? And it's right here. It's right. Do it again, that little thing. Uh, no, no, actually, no, do non puoi. And take a little time and make sure that you've made the space here. All right, this isn't high for you, is it, this G? No, no, come on, it's not high for you. It's not, I, I know, it's, I can tell it's not high for you. I can tell, all right? It's higher, but it's not high. It's not a B flat or a B or a C, it's just a G. Lots of chocolate in your voice in this sound, okay? So he's written tenuto, which means that you can be a little out of time here. What that also means is that you can take the time to make the space so that the sound is round and beautiful. Okay. All right? Just that bar right before she says, non po. See, would you ever want to do it any other way? I guess not. No, you wouldn't. You really, really wouldn't. All right? That kind of space. I think it'd even be better than that, and that is way better than the ones you offered me before. All right? Same thing. All right, but this time, yeah, sorry, this time, think of the mi odoro. Okay. So fine. What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> Where is it here? Let me see it. It's here, right? It's just sitting. It's sitting on my passaggio. Come on, don't talk to me about passaggio. That's this isn't your passaggio. This is a little I don't know, alright, maybe it's close actually. No, you're right, you're right. Look, then fine. Then non puoi bella anima nel mio if you have to. I don't think you're going to need it though, because I do believe that if you sing towards the end of it, you're going to land in it without any trouble. You're going to, you're going to hit the dismount and they'll give you a 10, you know? I mean, non puoi scordarmi. Give her that one. That's right before it. This one. Oh no, right before it. Sorry. No. This one right here. Oh, okay. All right. Pay attention now how you breathe before, okay? Pay attention to, if you breathe here, pay attention, and if you breathe here, when you breathe here, pay attention to make sure that you've breathed into your lower back and that you've, that you've taken the, the air that you need. And then sing with intention to the end of the line. Don't hold back, sing towards it. You nailed that first one, perfect. Were you more comfortable at the end than you were last time? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just think that when we sing, I said it again, I'll say it again. When you sing with intention, you sing more efficiently. All right, hold on, because I, I, I wanna just want to talk about the very end, because we're out of time. So look. Just uh, give me, can, can you give me the last bar, the last, I, I want to see, uh, can, <laughs> There's no reason why you couldn't do something small here, you know, a ca a la cadenza wise. Oh. Something small. It can't be outlandish and big like a big Rossini cadenza or even like a Lucia cadenza or anything like that. Small, you know, but heartfelt. Because this is, feels plain to my ear, you know. Okay. Talk to your teacher and the coaches who you trust about it, all right? Because I'm only a one person with one opinion. It feels plain to me, okay. all right? So sing it plainly now because there's, I don't want you to make something up in front of all of us, you know, but I mean like, uh, can she, can we, uh, can, can we do this bar, this bar right here yeah. before you sing? Oh, yeah. 
So this happened the first time too, actually. So you're, you're leggermente underneath the pitch right here. It happened the first time too. Look, just because we're singing quietly doesn't mean that, that we don't need the same support, all right? The air pressure might be slightly different, but it still has to be the regular support, you know? It happened the first time too, and maybe that's why I want to hear something. But lente assai a piacere, all right? So this whole thing, mio, mio, do, I mean, really, you can be as slow as that and nobody will ever take it away from you, all right? But for sure, keep, the, keep, the, keep your support going, all right? Just because it's quiet doesn't mean that it doesn't get support, all right? That same thing again. Non puoi. And see if you can make these feel a little different. Each, yeah. each non puoi, if you can make them feel a little different. I know we're at the end here, you know, so it's, but if you can. to it. Don't let it, don't let it, don't let it escape your, you know, hold on to it, even if it means sheer force of will. All right? Awesome. Great job. Congratulations. Yeah, really good. Man, 
Great. Awesome. Okay, what am I going to say to you? Are we able to listen to the other people or no? Oh, maybe not. A little bit, a little bit. Look, let's engage your brain, yeah. okay? Yeah. First of all, this guy isn't a guy who backs up. No. All right, so, like, when you were talking about Punirvi, you were going this way. Uh-huh. I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. That's not him. That's not the count. Uh-huh. All right? So let's try and make sure that you're never in a position, you under, you're undermining yourself, is what I'm saying. Like when you, you move forward, but then you back up, and, and if you back up, it's not him, you know? Yeah. In an audition situation, it's a little harder because we're kind of stuck. On the stage, you've got space. Yeah. But here, if, if, even for my money, if you deliver the, deliver the whole thing right here in the crook of the piano, I doubt you'd have any, any trouble because you, you, you sing with a pretty good intention. Okay, so, all right, let's start over. Let's try and think of, think of, think of these, th- what you just overheard, what it might mean to you, you know? I mean, what? It's already, it's, what? You know? Yeah. I mean, like, the, and like, that's, that somebody might have the audacity to think they might be able to outthink and outwit you? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm the count, you know? Uh, yeah, I mean, really, you know? All right. He's prideful and full of himself yeah. and certain of himself and egocentric. Mm-hmm. All right? He does not back up. He goes forward and wrecks anybody in his way. Mm-hmm. All right? That's who he is. Yeah. I have vinto la causa. Hai già vinta la causa, cosa sento? Yeah, so look. Hai già vinta la causa. Anybody could say that. Hai già vinta la causa. Has anger and venom in it. Yes. You know? Hai già vinta la causa. Like a double G and a double V. Hai già vinta la causa. I mean, like, I guess you could deliver it that way. I suppose I, would, I could almost buy it. But 
but the one that has incredulity in it. I javin tala causa is the is the guy who I see. And really, a director's going to talk to you about it, a conductor's going to talk to you about it, and then you'll find you'll find something that you guys can marry together. You know what I mean? But or or if you want to do it without that, I javin tala causa, you know, or something. But straight ahead, I javin tala causa. That doesn't work. Okay. la causa cosa sento in quella gioia cadea e fine io voglio io voglio di tal modo punirmi a piacermi o la sentenza sarà yeah, I think so for me musically I think this has to be connected Io voglio d'amor punirvi da 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 a piacer mio la sentenza sarà they had to be connected it has to be connected to this <laughs> that Mozart gave you yes all right so give me um io voglio pra pa pam io voglio io voglio io voglio di tal modo punirvi Oh, maybe there's a better idea. Think it over. Cultivando l'orgoglio di questo ente canto. Also, be a little longer on il colpo è fatto, like a half second longer. It's a great noise in your voice. Let it ring for a second so that we register it. All right. Yeah. And he can't make you go. You're you're on your own right there. And yeah, you can't be a corona with like a, but maybe like a tenuto line. Il colpo è fatto, like just so I get the ring of your voice. Yes. All right. And the same goes for tutto giovane raggiro. Joe, I mean, like, really, don't be in quite such a hurry. Let the beauty of your voice out into the hall, okay? Can I hear that actually? Tutto giova un raggiro, this one. Tutto giova un raggiro. Yeah, be sure of yourself, all right? Mm -hmm. Be absolutely certain. That means there's a relaxed, <laughs> there's something relaxed about your certainness and something tense about your, what you're going to do. Oh gosh, that's a hard one to pull off. But it has to do with the, it's, a, it's an attitude in your body, like relaxed, like balanced, like, like you're ready for action, so to speak, but with egotistical certainty that what you are going to do will teach everybody a lesson. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Play in the introduction again. Listen to the quality of... Like, this, this is just you, like... Yeah, yeah. Fra, e 
see what that is. Unite un vile, this one. Unite un vile oggetto. Unite un vile, sing through the V. Unite un vile oggetto. All right, give him, actually I want the line that's right before that. Vedro per mandamore. Okay, give him that bar. Vedro per mandamore. Okay, let's talk about how we make the E go into the O yeah. and not, not, yeah, okay, so look, the sound of E naturally doesn't, doesn't, doesn't want to harmonize with O so well, which is why we need to find a way to hold the sound here rather than here. Okay, so like, what I don't want to get is e yo e yo but rather e yo e yo e yo in the same spot. Okay. Dro mentria vedro mentrio sospiro, spiro. All in the same spot. All right. Vedro mentrio sospiro. Right in the same spot. Do it for me. Actually, without you, just let me, let me hear it. Vedro mentrio sospiro. All right, with the piano. Oh, uh, what's it? Yeah. Yeah. Vedro mentrio sospiro. Felice un servo mio. Yes, please. So, now I talk to you, so that's screwed you up, all right? But it's the same thing in the second one. Yeah. Mentrio sospiro. And the second one. Vedro ken ben chio desio. Those io. They all have to be in the same spot. Yeah. And look, this is where the voice speaks, okay? The voice isn't speaking from the mouth. It's actually speaking from up here. Yeah. All right? That's like where the sound is going out right. in our brain. That's where we see it. Yeah. All right? So... What happens when all these things line up together is the voice feels like one whole, one, one whole package, homogenous thing that's the, the same from here to here, top to bottom, all right? And when all vowels are in the same space, legato flows, mm -hmm. all right? The other one gets jerky, yeah. all right? Yeah. The first one was perfect, the second one wasn't because you, you heard me talking and I messed you up. Let's do the same thing again, all right? Try and keep all these things speaking in the same spot. Vedro, mentre sospiro. Okay. Okay. So each one of those cannot possibly be exactly the same. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's what he wrote. But fortunately, that's what he wrote. Yeah. All right? Because, again, it just gives you a chance to express. Vedro. Vedro. The last one, for sure, has to be the loudest. Vedro. Vedro. The last one has to be the loudest. Okay? Mm -hmm. And it has to build. You have to... This is... Yeah. All right? This is better. All right. I don't want to take, this is something good to be working on in the practice room, but out here in front of people, you know, and it's, it's unfortunate that there's people here, but it's fortunate because we get to do it. You know, like this is one of these glass half full or half empty situations. But here's the good news, man. Like you have found, you found something right here, all right? This holding this sound in the spot, in one spot is really good for the quality of your voice, which has not, now is much more even to me, all right? I mean, even in production. Not, I, I, I don't, I'm not talking about the, the nature of your sound. I mean, like what we get out here is much more on a line. Yeah. All right? 
Okay, can we have that thing right before Vedro? The last, uh, um, uh, how about, Quien me restona afecto, quien me, quien me perdona. Yeah. So what happens in between there, man? What happens? What's the decision? I mean, can I see you make a decision there? Yeah. Vedro hanno lasciarti in pace. Just the last two. Vedro, vedro. Vedro, vedro. Hanno lasciarti in pace. And I think it's not hanno, but hanno lasciarti. And with a conductor, it's easy. And if you've got the pianist who, who's working with you all the time, you know, but even so, I think you can show it, like giving it a double N. In other words, and a pianist who doesn't even know you will understand it, but like you're trying to show the person where to go, I think it doesn't work very well dramatically. contento. Vedrò, 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 vedrò. Man, this, why not? Why, why is so short this? Why? What, what's, what's there? Can I see what's there? Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? Man, at least let it be two, two whole, two half, uh, two, two quarter notes. At least that long. Okay. Okay. Vedrò, vedrò. Okay, sing this end. Tu no lasce, tu no lasce. Sing the end of the note. Tu no lasce, sing it. Tu no lasce. Yeah, okay, sorry. Don't, I don't want you to manipulate. You know, I feel like you're manipulating a little. Don't do that. Just sing the end. Tu no lasce, sing it. Sing the end. No, vocalize the end. No, yeah. Tu no nasce. Tu no nasce. Tu no nasce. Okay, so just to explain what I mean by this, so what you, now you're now you're doing it. This one speaks out there really well. Mm -hmm. All right. This one is connected, it has legato. Tu no nascesti aura, tu no nascesti aura. Okay, those are connected, mm -hmm. all right? That's why, that's why I'm going, that's like when you get a chance to vocalize an N, uh, like, or uh, there's other, con you vocalize a V, like V, V, you know, B, we, we're stuck, but you can, you know, because it's not the same as a, as a, you know, I mean, like, a, there's no sound in b. I guess there is, but you know what I mean? Like, tu no Sing it for me again. Tu no nascesti audace. Tu no nascesti audace. Per darle a me tormento. E forse ancora per ridere. Per ridere. Okay, sorry. Delle vendette mi. This is this double T is important for the quality of this word. Vendette, delle vendette mi. Really, you're not gonna. I promise you won't kill. If you sing through it, you won't kill the legato. Delle vendette mi. It's all gonna be in one line. Mm -hmm. All right. Già la speranza sola. Oh man, double T, would you double T? 
de lebende You have more time than you think you have. Every one of these, you have more time. We're, um, you know, like, da già la speranza sola delle vendette mie, questa anima consola e giubila. You have all this time, but I didn't see you take one good regular breath there. They were all the little ones, which just barely give you enough air. Yep. All right? Look, you actually have all this time, every one of these, okay? Do, uh, do, um, Ja la speranza sola. I mean, so we're in the same spot? Yeah, exactly. Ja la speranza sola, delle vendette mie, questa anima consola, e giubilar mi fa, e giubilar, e giubilar mi fa. Really good. Most people have a, that. I've heard such crazy things on that F sharp at the end. It sounds like it's right in the middle of your voice. Really, really good. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Well, you're there, man. Really good. Keep thinking. Keep, keep thinking. Use your brain. All right. Sit in a practice room and, and spin the legato. Then be the guy when you're out here. Okay. Great job. Really, really great. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if I, they left. Are they, are they still here or no? They left. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Uh, good luck. Come back for the opera. <laughs> Take care.